Hey everyone, it's Tara. I just wanted to share these two uh, small projects with you. Um, steampunk inspired. The first one is actually an altered Altoid tin that I did probably about a month ago for the craft hole on Facebook. The challenge was to alter an Altoid tin. And I made a mini album. It opens up and there's actually a little mini album in there, but I'll just show you the outside first. I used... DCWV, the timeless type stack. I love this paper. See, it's got I it's got all those tags. I got it at Michael's. It's got some really cool steampunk papers in there. Um, I use that. You can see on the bottom it's got little gears and stuff on it keys and um so pretty much I just did a lot of layering on the front I used a lot of distress ink vintage photo um this was actually a little metal frame you know that you could buy at Michael's and I cut out a piece of chipboard from the I think it's the Prima engraver collection actually the uh, chipboard pieces and or the stickers and I backed it on chipboard actually that's what I did is it gonna get clear there we go now you can see it I just added a little crown a little key this little metal filigree corner thing that I alcohol inked um, just some little bling there some prima copper roses that I had distressed um, that says time flies and I just used those little gears um, these are the cheapest ones that I can find, and I'm sure everybody knows about them. They're at Michael's in the jewelry section. You get 90 pieces, and they're $3.99. I mean, you can alcohol ink them, and, I mean, tons of different things you can do with them. And they have the keys and the locks and tons of other stuff, too. <clears throat> but, so that's pretty much the front. And then when you open it up, that's the inside to cover. And I just used the Tim Holtz, the gear dies. Just a little sticker there. I did a lot of inking. I used a lot of Mod Podge. I just like the way it turned out. Some more bling. And then if you turn it this way, I haven't yet put pictures in it because I'm not sure if I'm going to give it as a gift or what I'm going to do with it. And I'm sorry, guys. It comes out really easy, but I'm one-handed. So. And I just did... A big thing of photo mats in the inside I just left blank because I mean if you put pictures in there you know it might not close all the way and there's a woman that did a tutorial on this on YouTube and I am gonna have to find her name and I will list it below in the in the comments um, and that's just what I did the photo mat comes out and it's on the back side too so I just wanted to show you guys that it was really easy to make and I picked up this little tiny guy. I think I'm going to do something with this, too. It still has got the mints in it, but look how tiny and cute it is. I want to do something with that, too. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but okay, that's that. And then this second one is a tag that I just made the other day. There is a challenge on the craft hole. Um, there's a picture of a tag. I should have printed out the picture, but I didn't. It's a corrugated, I, I'm sorry, I can't say it. My boyfriend keeps making fun of me, too. Corrugated cardboard tag. Literally, I peeled off a tab of one of the thousand boxes that I have stuffed in the closet from all my orders. Spray it with water, and literally, you can peel the cardboard right up and you'll just have that so that's basically what I did and then first what I did was I used the distress crackle paint what is it the antique bron oh antique bronze okay there we go I used that I stressed it I tried to paint it all in the groove. See how it is like that? Is it is it hard to see? Sorry, it's like kind of shiny. My lighting is terrible. But I did that, and then I used my alcohol inks. The patina. The vintage patina collection. And I also have this one, which is hazelnut. And I added that in there, too, 
just to give it kind of, it was like really bright. I wanted it to be real grungy and steampunk and worn. So I used those, sorry, I'm just throwing them over there. I used those, went over it really, really heavily. This is just one of those um, flowers that were on sale at Michael's, and I just kind of distressed it with some metallic paint just to make it look. I, I, I knew it wasn't going to be perfect. I just kind of went with it. I was really sloppy about it. I just used some little metal. Let me lift this up. Is that better? I used a little metal corner. I used the Tim Holt gear gears and some of the metal gears too from Michaels that I alcohol inked as well. I just put a little eyelet, a little gear there, and then I just used the Tim Holtz swivel clasp. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share this with you guys. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.